Chloe. I'm one of the copy editors for the Queen's Journal. Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm the journal's photo editor. Hi, I'm Sasha. I'm the other copy editor. I'm Shelby. I'm the journal's editorials editor. And today we're going to be trying baguettes 10 different ways. And today we're going to be eating baguettes prepared 10 different ways. <laughs> So we're gonna be trying the garlic bread. Okay. Let's try it. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's really good. I've only had garlic bread on a baguette, so. I don't know, but I feel like I've had it on like buns. That's really good, especially because it's um, warm and just came out of the oven. I like the crunch. I do yeah, really I like the crunch and the mm -hmm. toastiness of it. Yeah. It's nice. It has a little crisp to it. I think I'd put some cheese on it, like spiced up a little bit. Oh, yeah. good call. I think it'd be good even to, if you like sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on top, I think that, that would make good. it. Um, I'm gonna cheese give this, is always good. Yeah, a 4.5 out of 5 baguettes. I'm gonna give this a 3 out of 5. I'm gonna go 3 out of 5 Ooh. baguettes. Um, I'm gonna give this uh, four baguettes out of five baguettes. I thought it was pretty solid and a great way to eat garlic bread. <laughs> Crispy. So this is bruschetta on a baguette. I'm a little nervous because I don't love tomatoes. I also hate tomatoes. I like them like in a salsa, in a sauce, but raw tomatoes just make me wanna like throw up. So that's gonna be fun. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I'll be honest, I thought bruschetta was a kind of cheese, but um, it's actually really good. You know, um, gotta say the balsamic covers up the tomato taste pretty well. Um, I like that. Yeah, me that too. It's good, surprising. Yeah. I actually really like this, I love bruschetta. Mm -hmm. Go-to appetizer also <laughs> at restaurants sometimes, so five baguettes out of five baguettes. I'm gonna second that. I am gonna go with uh, two baguettes out of five baguettes, Whoa. cause I, Yes, don't vibe with tomatoes. I'm gonna give that a four to five because I don't vibe with tomatoes, but I kind of vibe with that. Nice. So this is a veggie BLT, otherwise known as an LT. Okay, LT. Yeah. Um, they're very cute. They're very small. Yeah. I'm excited to eat them. Let's okay. go. Cheers. Cheers. I think this is very refreshing. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a lot to bite into, but mm -hmm. you get a lot of flavor. So. Not bad. Um, <laughs> it's not something that like the baguette has really made. Yeah. This is a good like party snack. Yeah. It's small. Yeah, a quick bite. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> four out of five baguettes. I will also give it four out of five baguettes. Yeah. It's small and cute. So yeah. like aesthetically, this would probably be like four baguettes out of five baguettes, but execution-wise, I'm gonna give it a one yeah. baguette. Um, I'm gonna give it two out of five baguettes. I mean, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes already, so. Yeah, no. It'd be a good, like, appetizer. Yeah. Or if you toasted it, maybe. Yeah. You know? Right now, good? it just sort of tastes like a salad made of bread. Yeah. We are trying arugula, cheese, and apple sandwiches. Um, can be even eaten open or closed face. Cheers. Cheers. I need a rumor. Mm. It's very good. Um, it's like classy. It makes me feel fancy. Yeah. I love arugula. <laughs> so this is a, definitely a winner for me. Mm -hmm. The apple adds a really nice sweetness yeah, too. Yeah, I agree. Um, it kind of has springtime-y yeah. vibes with like the greens and the fruit. Apple pie and cheese is a classic. So it makes sense that apples and cheese would work on a baguette. Um, I think that I would rate it four out of five baguettes. I think I'm also going to rate it four out of five baguettes. Mm. I'd rate this one four out of five because it's interesting, it's unique. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Yeah. Um, it's going to be four out of five for me as well. Yeah. And I'm always worried my arugula is going like, to go bad, so this is another way to use it, which is perfect. True.
Okay, so we're gonna be trying the um, baguette as a crouton. And we got some lettuce to replicate a salad. It's like lettuce wraps. Yeah. <laughs> but croutons. Mm -hmm, very, very fancy, fancy. yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. The lettuce is refreshing. Mm -hmm. I like how crunchy it is too because sometimes my mom makes homemade croutons and they're soft. Um, took forever to eat. Mm -hmm. um, was really dry. Really dry. Um, in terms of like compared to regular croutons, I don't know that um, this does any better. A little more flavor, I guess. I think they're definitely better than anything you can find at the store in a bag, so. I agree. I really like it. I um, like this too, actually. Yeah, I would give it a four out of five. I agree, four out of five baguettes. Yeah, I'm giving this one baguette out of five yeah. baguettes. I'm, I'm gonna give it two, two out of five, because it's good for a crouton. Croutons don't have much to work with already. Fair. This is Nutella on a baguette. Um, not the most creative thing yeah. ever, but I'm excited because I haven't had Nutella in so long. Yeah, I'm very excited for this one. Cheers. Ooh, it looks so good. Um, I think the baguette adds a little something from like a store-bought like whole wheat loaf of bread or something. Okay. And a nice softness, like a bouncy texture. <laughs> I think it's definitely a step up from like normally just normal. Mm -hmm. bread from the store because the bread is like rich mm -hmm. and exactly. the Nutella is amazing. What yeah. do you rate it? I rate it five out of five because I love Nutella. So me too. Yeah. I give it five baguettes out of five. Five baguettes. baguettes out of five baguettes. Yeah. I will say I find it a little bit dry. I don't know if that's just me. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. <laughs> so okay. um, I'm definitely gonna give this five five out of five baguettes. I'm gonna give it four point five out of five. I guess. Delicious. Um, now we're gonna try some Melba toast. Yeah, I've never had Melba toast before. Me neither, it kind of just looks like dry toast, but you know, <laughs> that could be good. I never actually had this, so. No one knows what Melba toast <laughs> is apparently, so. Um... <laughs> Good flavor. Mm -hmm. More flavor than the average Melba toast that you would expect. <laughs> I like the choice of herbs on top. That's really good. Kind of bland. Mm -hmm. I think I would probably like dip it in like hummus or something. Mm -hmm. I feel like it could be good in oil. I don't know if mm -hmm. that's a... Yeah some, yeah, some olive oil drizzled on top. Yeah, I think that'd be a good addition. Yeah, that to it. would be good. Not uh, my favorite. I'm gonna give it uh, three baguettes out of five baguettes. I'm gonna give this one also three out of five. Yeah, it was okay. But yeah, um, I'm gonna say five out of five. This is a pleasant surprise. Four <laughs> out of five baguettes. <laughs> Swirl around. I'm just having a good time. Mix it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. I actually do this all the time um, because it makes me feel fancy when I just cook something really simple like pasta or a salad at my house. Solid. Mm -hmm. I love having bread with olive oil. Good combination. Good appetizer. Mm -hmm. Like at a restaurant. I'm gonna go with three baguettes out of five because I understand that it's not the most elaborate thing, but it is really good. I'm gonna give it two baguettes out of five. So I'm gonna give this five baguettes out of five baguettes. Ooh. I'm gonna give it four out of five, just uh, cause it's pretty basic, but I guess in a good way. These are French toasts, but made from baguettes. Shockingly. Surprising. All right, let's give it a try. It's gonna be messy. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that it's like kind of thick. Me too. Yeah, I like the thickness. I like mm. the thickness. I thought it was gonna be bad. Because you usually have it on sliced bread. Yeah. This is good. That is really good and really fun. It felt it like is. I was eating a tiny piece of toast. That is really good. It was really spongy. Yeah. 
wow, would I recommend that everyone should just make all French toast with baguettes from now on? Because I'm giving it five, five out of five. Um, I would it? give it a four out of five baguettes. I'll go 4.5 out of five. Okay. <laughs> baguettes. I rate this um, baguette also 4.5 out of five. Oh, yeah. five. Interesting. I think if we put like berries or something on it, that'd be, that'd be five out of five. So this is the grilled cheese baguette. So yeah, let's give it a try. Woo! All right. It's good. It's um, not bad. Yeah, I think that maybe it could have more butter. I don't know what it's missing. I think it's, it's the type something. of cheese that's in it. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I don't know what about the baguette. Maybe that it's white bread. Maybe that it makes a cute sandwich. Maybe that it's really thick and chewy, but it was really good. It's, it's a big bite, too. Yeah. I mean, it's not very comfortable to chew in your mouth. I almost wish it was like softer bread or yes. something that you could just very easily bite into. It is really good. Yeah, I didn't. I th thought it would be like worse than normal grilled cheese. Yeah. But I think it's actually better. It's something like really soft. Yeah. A lot of, lot of I think, bread for the butter to sink into. I'm going to give this one a 2.5 out of 5 baguettes. I'm going to give it a 1 out of 5 <laughs> baguettes. So I'm going to give this uh, 5 baguettes out of 5 baguettes. I think I'm also gonna give this one five baguettes out of five baguettes. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Um, so I think my favorite was the Melba Toast, actually. I think my favorite definitely was the bruschetta. It had good flavor, pretty consistent everywhere you go. So it had like that, it was really satisfying. Yeah, that one was good too. I just think maybe since I haven't tried my um, mountains before, um, it was a good first experience. Agreed. <laughs> So, definitively, the best ways to eat a baguette. Um, my top choice is going to have to be the French toast. It was really good. It was really cute. Um, it was unexpected. It kind of snuck up on me. I thought it wasn't going to be good, and then it blew my mind. Yeah, I think my top choice is going to be the grilled cheese, but I would mix it with the bruschetta, because that was also up there. So if you had, like, in the grilled cheese, I think that would be, like, six out of five baguettes. Innovation. Innovation, yeah. That's what we're here for. Thanks for watching. And we hope you get to try some of these baguettes at home. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you try one of these at home. Yeah. <laughs>